Welcome to another edition of One Question, One Answer. It is a special edition today because I am going to ask more than one question, to which I hope you have more than one answer. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. It's an exclusive with Emily Nelman. And Emily, in addition to providing great, great client service as a senior account executive, is also our corporate wellness champ. And I put corporate in front of there because it's yeah, not official. That, was, that seems a little And probably because I was looking at corporate wellness on my screen, mm -hmm. but you're our wellness champ. I am. And we're going to talk a little bit about that today because you're here usually addressing really serious topics. Most recently, cargo <laughs> shorts. I've been invited to some very serious one question, one answers. It, yes. Which, very which, serious. I mean, none more important than last week's cargo shorts. I 100% agree. And to which I could probably store good goodies, snacks in those short pockets. So I think I'll we're seeing how we can link these yeah. two. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about um, wellness and, and the importance of a wellness program. Um, because a lot of our clients know that we do a lot of different programs here and they're always asking like, is that good? Is this a good one? What do you think about that one? So I thought I would spend some time with Emily really talking through a few of the things that we've done since you and I talked about this maybe four years ago. Yeah, probably really, almost five years ago. Where we formalized yep. this. <clears throat> um, so the most, the biggest thing is probably the walking contest. So I'm going <laughs> to leave it up to you. Walk us through a couple of the things that you've brought to IKEA for wellness, for a focus on wellness. And you can start with the big one with wellness or uh, the walking contest, or you can end with it. Okay. What would you prefer? I, let's kick it off with the walking contest because okay. it's very top of mind right now. It's We're kind of um, midway through the competition. We're actually entering the final week of the four-week competition this week. So um, it's gotten a little bit intense, a, a little. I would say. So Some of us are a little upset, <laughs> a little jaded. Uh, we've got four teams, and on each team we've got seven employees participating per team. Um, so I guess that's what, roughly 28 yeah. participants. So about um, half the agency. Yep. And each employee tracks their steps for the week. Um, so, and then on Mondays they report their steps to their captains and then I send out a big email kind of letting everyone know who is um, in the lead with a standing. So it's gotten very competitive this year. I would say yes. it's reached a new level of crazy. We might have killed it. I, I mean, think we so. may need to I, reconfigure it a little, a little, little <laughs> next, next year, yes. Um, so we're going to try to find ways, I think, to make it a little bit more inclusive for for people um, next year, but it's a lot of fun. I think people really enjoy participating. Yeah. One employee apparently lost ten pounds this year. Ten pounds in three weeks. That three, that is a, but but really, that's great. But it is are his it's steps really all about, it's is, all about is he his getting steps. good steps? It's all his. I am on his team actually, and I can yeah, say that he is getting good steps. Okay. But he's not even in the top ten. That's tough Steps. to get in the top 10 here around it's here. It's very tough. I'd like to say, who's the oldest that has the highest steps with kids? So that, I mean, because oh, some of us. I mean, is someone just trying to take the horn? Or? Yeah, I mean, because some of us could just run and walk all night, but others, you know, it would have be, to brought their kids yeah. to walk down to the dairy queen with them. I would say that's a challenge for people with children. You it have is, to get yes. a little bit creative um, with how you get, how and when you get your steps in. So for me, I've been having Kyle, normal, that's my husband, normally cook dinner. So I'll go down the treadmill or I'll take my, our dog around the block or I'll get our son to go around the block on his scooter so I can walk yeah. behind. So just trying to get creative with how you can get outside or if you have access to a treadmill, we've been seeing a lot of people standing at desks. So that's another sort of controversial uh, yes. method of Stepping getting steps. But or I just shaking their Fitbit. <laughs> I'm getting steps right now. Look at Stop me. Stop it, you're <laughs> Um, but it's hard. You don't want to discourage people any way they can to be active. So yes. if that means standing at a desk and walking in place, I hate to say you can't do that because it is ultimately one way in which someone is being more active than they were um, outside the contest. That's true. And I think, so the average, what, they, what, what the American Heart Association says to hit is 10,000 steps a day, mm -hmm. correct? Which and is about 10... I'm sorry, about, about five, five miles. miles. And we're blowing yeah. well past that. Well past. Where people are averaging, some of the top five, they are averaging 25 to 30. Steps per day. Thousand steps per day. Yeah, so we crazy. have people at 177 for the week. Yep. I was at 148 last week and wasn't even in the top five. So our top I might have been a little or, upset about that. Our top stepper last week had 185,000 steps. Good God. That's yeah. more than the step the week before that. Yeah. So the bar to continues these. to be set it's higher and higher, crazy. and it's funny to look, historic. this is the fourth year of the contest, and it's great to look back at the, what the first year was like. I think our winning team had like 80,000 steps. Yeah. Um, that was Ben's team. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be my team. Um, 
two years in a row. But it's just funny how the, the competitive spirit of IKEA, I think, is is just really been demonstrated over the course of this contest. Or like Michael was crying about a minute ago, we <laughs> sucked the fun out of everything. Right, he did say that. So it's not just walking contests. You know, I'm looking at a stat, and there's a there's a great book. Forbes actually was writing about this Gladiator's Guide to Corporate Health and Wealth. Mm -hmm. And there's a stat that 55% of workers identified in the Work Wellness Program said that uh, corporate well-being wellness programs is critical as critical as anything that they do on a daily basis. Mm. So the work that they're getting, the things that they're doing at work, mm -hmm. healthy eating, walking contests, things like that actually matter to employee morale, or the, how they feel if they're in a good place, or if they're appreciated, if they're valued. And it's not just the walking contest because you yeah. you have lovely fruit assortments here that you get every day, just mm -hmm. actually, or every Monday, it's here yeah. today. Um, and what else? We have other things going on too. Well, this year we did um, this sort of water drinking initiative. So each employee in the month of June was issued an IKEA cup um, with the goal of drinking eight glasses of these. I'm sorry, four glasses of these per day. These yep. are 16 ounce cups. So you're supposed to drink eight eight ounce cups per day. Um, so long lines just, at the bathrooms. Well, very long lines at the bathrooms. Yes. I think our water filter machines were out of water. Yes. Um, but it just shows, I think, that the programs are working, um, employees feel engaged, and we all spend so much time here at IKEA and together that it makes sense to try to make it easier for people here to make healthier choices. Or we're just sick people that have to have <laughs> and turn everything into a competition. Exactly. I think that's part of it. You sort of kind of leverage the competitive nature of the people that we have here to, to create something that's going to be successful. What And what about the smoothies? We started oh, smoothies yeah, smooth this year. Day. Yeah, so... Smooth um, day. Every well, it's supposed to be every first Tuesday of the month, and I've gotten some pushback because it's not always possible with my schedule. But um, every Tuesday, um, one Tuesday a month, we do custom smoothies um, in our other kitchen here at IKEA. So employees come down, and I will make them a creation of their own, or I'll whip up some um, smoothies that I know are gonna, you know, people will enjoy. So. Um, it's been really popular. It's a nice People pick me up them. in the morning too. Yeah, it can be so, sort of like a meal replacement or um, just a nice kind of mid-morning snack for people and they love it. So good, wrapping us up here because this is obviously very important. We've we've committed to it. We have mm -hmm. people that are helping you now with this. More people. If this fruit's not here on Monday you morning, it's a problem. Yeah. Although I would say if there was a bowl of peanut M&Ms here, it would have been gone <laughs> far long before any of the things on this table. But yes. these are so good for you. Yes, they yeah. are. So parting, parting thought, what has been the biggest motivator for you? Why did you want to bring this to IKEA? I know why I did. I know why we talked about it. But what has been the one big thing, one big takeaway for you that you would tell people that are trying to get a wellness program at their own place? I think if you have a personal interest in wellness, like I did, um, just being really interested in running and physical fitness and Pilates and all that stuff at home. Um, it was easy to see how we could apply some of those same things here and make it easy for people at work to make healthy decisions. So I remember when I started at IKEA, it was like pretzels and animal crackers and Girl Scout cookies. And those were the things that were offered, which are all great and nice to have for employees, but they weren't really, um, there were no healthy options really. So that's one of the first things I think that we decided we wanted to do when you and I sat down was how can we um, make it easy for employees to choose a healthy snack over you know some of the other more traditional snacks that we had. So I would say you can start uh, with a couple easy things like the fruit mm -hmm. or like you know, can you start like a running club or something that's really easy and very informal and casual um, that doesn't take away from your your work day. Um, maybe it's something after work. Even we did Pilates or yoga for a while. So those types of things really resonate with people. It makes it easy for them to get in a workout before they go home with their family. So those kinds of things have really worked well for us. Yeah, I agree. I think that the one thought and the one takeaway that you hit on there is making it easy for people to blend it, integrate it into their day. Mm -hmm. So it's not till they're waiting to get home. And if you're starting here and you're eating healthy here, you're not going to go home and let up on junk food because right. you you've tried to eat healthier right, eat right mm -hmm. all day. Yeah. So um, it's been great. I look for what other things we're going to add to it, which I know you and I have talked about. There's a lot of good things in the future that we will. So maybe down the line, another one, but there you have it. Just a, a quick behind the scenes glimpse into our wellness program. Um, a lot of, like I said, a lot of clients have asked about it. Um, so hopefully this helps a little bit and we're going to end now. You have to sit there for a long time because we're in a walking <laughs> contest and I got to go. <laughs> I'm going to catch you. <laughs>